What's up guys, Mike here. Welcome back to Game Dev with AI, the place where we're developing our first real-time strategy game, an indie game, only with the tools of AI, without any programming skills whatsoever. If you follow my series, this is a challenge that I started a few months ago, and we keep on going strong. We are progressing fast, and I'm very excited to show you my progress so far. In this quick video, we are we'll going to cover in adding the shadows to our game using Construct 3. Then we'll cover improvements to our Jeep unit, and finally we'll add a win condition in destruction of enemy fort. Plus, we'll fix some little small bugs. I'm very excited to share my progress with you, so let's get to it. There are several ways to add the shadows to the game. The problem is when you, we talk about 2D game, it's not so easy as you might think, because there is no 3D objects to cast the proper shadow. That's why Construct 3 has so-called shadow caster behavior. If you watch a tutorial about it, it's an automatic way to add shadows to the game. But honestly, I tried it and it just doesn't work for me at all, the way I want to be. This it was developed for the platformer game where you have just few objects on the screen. But we are, if we are developing a big game with a lot of objects on the screen, it just doesn't work so well for me. Plus, uh, it's very time consuming. You need to add a shadow caster behavior, you need to add a light. And honestly, I tried it and the results are just terrible. So here is another way that how I did it. So as you can see here, this little shadow behind the robot, if I double click it, this is the shadow ellipse, right? It's just transparent ellipse with a gradient and it's called shadow. As you can see, I organized everything nicely already. On the right, if we see behaviors, the only behavior I have here is called pin. Now let me show you the simple code that generates the shadows for everyone when the layout is loading. This is the new section, the new group that we made, it's called shadows. For now, we just add shadows to the, to the robots. And tanks, but I think for tanks we need to do separately because they're bigger, so the cone should be bigger. And for buildings we need to be to have even bigger core, um, I mean the ellipse. But one step at a time, like never get overwhelmed. When you get you started, it's really easy to drown in all this developments. So let's just start with simple things, one step at a time. So we create shadow casters family. The shadow casters family will include all the units. The small ones, right? The separate shadow caster family will be for the big ones later. And then, if shadow caster family is is not overlapping, this is inverse, is not overlapping with shadows. It means we don't have a shadow. We create, we spawn the shadow at an image point two. Now let me show you why image point two. So, for example, this is an enemy unit. The image point one is located over here. So, in the middle, yeah? Then image point, no, image point zero, sorry, excuse me, is located in the middle. Image point one is where his, the bullets are coming from. And image point two is the shadow. Because we need shadow be near his legs, not in the middle of the image, right? So we have different image origins over here. That's important. So we spawn shadow on the image point two. And then we pin, automatically pin it to the shadow caster. So it moves with the shadow caster. And now we need to make sure that the shadow is behind our shadow caster so it doesn't appear over the sprite it's behind the sprite so we move it behind the sprite move to object shadow caster where behind and then we pin it to the shadow caster 
Now we need to make sure that when our unit is dead, the shadow is removed. So by checking if our shadow is not overlapping with shadow caster anymore, we just destroy it. It means the shadow caster is already gone. Simple as that. Sounds good. Let's see. This is without shadow. Let's see how it works now with the shadow in our testing playground. This is a separate uh, map that I made just for testing of different behaviors. As you can see here, the shadow is appearing behind our units and also behind enemies. Yeah, looks very nice. Okay, very good. Ready to kill. And if we walk, the shadow Ready stands my way, sir. under us. Pretty nice, right? So let's assume we solve the shadows for now. Now the next step is improving our chip. Now I edit the capturing chip behavior. Remember in the previous video we edit the chip, which we can shoot out the driver, and then chip becomes neutral, and enemies can capture it again. So if they're close by, they can come in and they can capture it. And you see now it becomes an enemy chip. Later in the development I'll make sure that you can also put your own units inside. But for now it's not possible. Okay, let's get rid of this tank. Because tanks are not developed yet, it's just a spot. Okay, there is no tanks yet. Okay. And we'll get to the tanks later. Look who is coming, <laughs> they're trying to steal our flag while I'm talking. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Okay, get out of here. Alright, we were talking about the Jeep. What else we improved? Um, if I come closer, the Jeep must start coming closer to me, because we don't want Jeep stay in one place and accept the rockets. In the face, right? Lock and loaded. So this is a behavior Ready, I did. And I'm testing this playground, so I'm ca coming closer. Ready and waiting. Ready and to kill. Must start moving. Let's see if it starts moving. Ready to kill. Okay, I died. Ready and waiting. Let's see what this. Consider done. If it starts Lock moving. Ready to kill. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Consider done. On my way, sir. Okay, you see, we hit out the driver, and soon. We will, will be able to capture. Lock and ready to kill. Lock and loaded. On my way, sir. Ready, ready to kill. You see, Jeep is trying to ready drive and, and away, maneuver sir. around. It's not perfect yet. You see, like this. That's nice. You see, Jeep was trying to drive around and maneuver, not to stand in one place and accept the rockets in the face. Let me quickly show you how we did it. If you remember, we already developed the jeep and the turret in the previous video, which is pinned to him. So when the jeep goes around, the turret turns around and rotates. So I did following code, or oh, it's not a code, but whatever. On, if we have an empty jeep and we are on collision with enemies, troops, it means our enemy is trying to capture the empty jeep. And we spawn enemy jeep in this place, a real one with a driver. And then we put the turret on top. And then we pin them together. And then we just destroy an empty jeep and we destroy the troop enemy that was jumping inside. So now we have a new enemy jeep and we destroyed empty one, destroyed the enemy as well. So this is a maneuvering in fight. If we have line of sight of our enemy units or we create um, basically it's jeep enemy so it's line of sight of our units later we can invert that and create our jeep plus line of sight of enemies but that's another story we create pass find to the random place somewhere near the enemy and here is the bug i think that i have i'm using too many move along pass requests basically let's just toggle it off i noticed in construct tree that if you have too many requests like move along pass and from different commands then 
everyone is just getting confused like you're telling him go capture flag go capture the the jeep go attack somebody so you're just giving too many orders at the same time and the brain is just exploding so you'll try to reduce amount of requests best finding move uh, pass because we already created pass so let this execute on its own order don't push it too much let's see if it improves now I run our playground and this is a tank placeholder it doesn't do anything but just moves so they can attack it let's capture the chips okay let's go remember I have temporary control of the enemy units and if I'm coming with tank placeholder I have no sound then they start shooting and you see they start moving now instead of just standing around put them maneuvering and there is more chips so basically all my chips I mean like all enemy chips are trying to maneuver around and we try and move forward let's see if I can go away let's give some help Okay. okay, that's just too many of them. Okay, one is out. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. So you see, everything is working fine. And Jeep starts maneuvering when they get in fight instead of just standing and taking the rocket. As for overlapping during best fighting, that's another story. There was a new update in Construct. Just solving this, we'll get to this in one of the next videos when I need to do it. Finally, in this video, I developed also a win condition. When you destroy an enemy fort in our game, you win basically the level and you go to the next one. So I made this map that you might have seen in the previous video. It's just a simple map. And we have enemy fort right here. Also, I created the text of V1. It's just a text. It doesn't have any behaviors. And it's uh, invisible originally. And we call it when we win the game. So when the fort is destroyed. This is enemy fort. I pinned two towers, defensive towers to it and it has variables of its health as all our uh, buildings and units as you can see it just has health amount as an instant and then you can right click find all references and this is a quick way to see the codes about this object in your game let's quickly see it okay so this is enemy fort what do we have here first of all it's spawning it's spawning enemy troops because it's also pro production factory next if health is less than 500 it starts burning this is just let's do nothing and when health is less than zero it's exploding so we run now exploding we create explosions, we create particles, smoke, fire and sparks. Uh, we destroy our fort and we call the new function that I developed called one. Let's check this function. Uh, this function one is basically just sounds saying yeah we won, we're the champions. This, and this is just uh, sounds. In previous videos I showed you that we've been doing sounds as functions. I think it's an easy way to call for different random sounds. But actually, where is our win condition? Let's scroll down. This is our win condition. So when fort is enemy fort is destroyed, what are we gonna do? First, let's let's explosion complete. So we wait two seconds. Then we show our win text to visible. And then I spawn some fireworks around. So each flag around is spawning the fireworks. And 
this is very important we wait a few more seconds and then we go to the next layout or the main menu where you can click select separate layout with its own name so you can go to the next level that is the way in construct how you progress to the next level in our case we'll go to main menu which is new so let's test everything and quickly see how win condition is working this is our map lock and loaded consider done ready All to right. kill on my way sir Okay, so like okay, we got Ready and waiting. Ready to kill. Let's Ready and waiting. Ready, sir. We got rid of the this is physics, by the way. Very cool. Also. Ready to Some kill. Soon we'll be able to capture those. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. But for now, Black secured. Not ready yet. Construction. Okay. Ready and waiting. Ready, sir. Ready to kill. Let's see if it's ready to kill. Lock and okay. loaded. Consider done. Lock and loaded. Ready, sir. Right, one more guy Consider done. Okay, we got Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Very nice. We have music going. Oh, I forgot to capture this one. Robots deployed. Lock and loaded. Ready to capture kill. This one. Oh, they're coming at us. Why are they moving so slow? Alright. Ready and waiting. We capture Robot this flag. Right now we're here. Lock and Ready loaded. to kill! Alright, work it guys. Prepare the flex. Trying to catch the ship. Ready and waiting! Ready, Lock and loaded. Consider done. Ready and waiting. This is a turret. Lock and loaded. Ready to kill! You got it. Right away, sir. This is fake tank. In one of the next videos, I will be developing the tanks. So it will be from the turret. Starts and start shooting. Oh, come on! He took our flag. On Let's my way, here. sir. Remember, he cannot shoot. Lock ready to kill. On my way, sir. Consider ready to kill. Right away, sir. He's Consider just going around the kitchen. Right but, away, sir. But, okay. Ready to kill. He's done. On my way, sir. Perfect. On my way, sir. Okay, we are ready for the final push. Ready to kill! Let's get together and finish them all. Okay, we got some force together. Let's use our place world on tank to accept the firepower and meanwhile we attack. Okay, let's go, go, go! Quickly! Kill the force! Yes. Enemy did. fort eliminated, sir. Three, well four, done. One. We yeah. are the champions. Exactly, my friend. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our quick video. There is still a lot to do, and we keep developing our new demo. Just real time strategy game developed by one way, guy sir. without any skills. Mike's out. Take care.